If you've ever looked into Egyptian mythology, you've likely come across Bastet, sometimes called Bast. She was a goddess with many roles, as you will see further in this video. In ancient artwork, Bastet is typically shown as a beautiful girl with the head of a cat. She is commonly shown with black, white, yellow or glowing skin. Sometimes she is shown as a light-skinned European girl with long blonde hair and bright blue eyes and sometimes she is often shown as a full cat. However, her feline form is only one of her many intriguing aspects. Bastet was known for her gentleness as the protector of women and the home. Yet she could also be ferocious when punishing those who harmed others and created disorder in society. She was prominently featured in myths and was considered one of the most powerful figures in the ancient Egyptian pantheon. Due to her immense popularity, she was often depicted in Egyptian art. She was also the subject of a riotous festival that attracted thousands of worshippers to the city of Bubastis every year. The strangest and most confusing period in the history and geography of ancient Egypt is the separation between Upper Egypt and Lower Egypt, especially within mythology, because while the two entities separated for a period, each had their own gods and goddesses. Lower Egypt was the home of the goddess Bastet, the lion-headed goddess of war. She was the defender of the pharaoh and the sun god Ra, who was also her father. Legend has it, by day, Bast would ride through the sky with her father, the sun god Ra, in his boat, pulling the sun through the sky. Ever watchful, she protected Ra from his enemies. Thus, she became known as the Lady of the East, the goddess of the rising sun and the sacred and all-seeing eye and served a role similar to Seth, traveling in Ra's solar boat and defending him from Apophis, the snake monster that symbolized darkness, chaos, and destruction. Her hometown was Babastis, where priests mummified cats in her temple. More than 300,000 mummified cats were discovered when Bast's temple at Babastis was excavated. The cats were placed in coffins and pious worshippers had bronze and stone figures made so that these could be offered in dedication to the goddess Bastet. Over time, her role as a warrior decreases and she is portrayed as a cat. Cats were revered in ancient Egypt as protectors against desert diseases. Therefore, they played a very important and special role in the Egyptian world. After the change from lion to cat, Bastet will become less ferocious and will differ from the lion-headed goddesses in Upper Egypt. Although she never knew the immense popularity of the great gods from Egyptian mythology, she remained loved in Northern Egypt until the fall of the dynasties. In the Greek world, she became a minor goddess of the moon. She was also considered the patron of the sun, lions, cats, women, fertility, passion and secrets. Some modern worshippers believe that we get the modern English word passion from Pash, another name on which the goddess Bastet was known. She was also associated in ancient Egypt with perfume and protective ointments. It was said that you should call upon Bastet when you feel in danger and need of protection, or when you would like to bring passion into your life. If you think I've missed something, or have any thoughts you want to share about the cat goddess Bastet, write them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe to the channel by hitting the notification bell to be notified when new videos arrive. Yours truly, Mythos the Historian.